I am the true alpha male, the living legend of hair loss, and I have returned. I've returned to tell you the story. This happened in real life, and yes, St. Patrick's Day 2020 is when I'm, on, I'm filming this. We are in the age of social distancing. And I'll admit there's one thing I, I've still continued to do every day because it's still open. I'm going to the gym. I go to the gym for about an hour a day with the same people who continue to show up and we're <sighs> breathing each other's air. Yes, we all wipe down the equipment with disinfectant and all that after every use. But ultimately, it's all in the air. And we've been going there even before we realized how important social distancing is, which is very important. But that's the one thing that I do where I'm around people now, other than my family, is I'm going to the gym every day for about an hour. So let me tell you the story about hair loss. Knowing that, keeping that in mind, that I go to the gym every day after work. So I was at work during the daytime, St. Patrick's Day, in which there were no St. Patrick's festivities, they all canceled because of coronavirus. I'm talking to a friend who also works out, he actually trains. And somehow we, we got to talking about, I think he said something about, because you know, he shaves his head or whatever, and, and, and then he said something like, yeah, I think some people just look better without hair anyway. I said, exactly, exactly. Often it's the guys who do lose their hair earlier in life that's all we know about them is that we see a shaved head and a beard or whatever and like that's they would look weird with hair so that was the conversation some men actually look better without hair and they would look weird if they did have hair or they look just very generic and boring that was the conversation it was a very passing thing I th and i think the reason we're talking about it is because and i've probably helped steer that conversation because i was saying i was talking to him about how it's more important that you take care of your body, that you are healthy and fit and strong, more so than the rest of your looks. And I think that's when he mentioned the hair. I don't think I actually initiated hair, the word hair. I think I was talking about working out and saying that matters more than your actual overall looks. So that's where the conversation went. So as he said, quote, I think some men just look better without hair anyway. I immediately agreed and I thought of somebody. Now, now let's fast forward later to St. Patrick's Day 2020. A couple hours later, I'm going to the gym. There's a guy at the gym who uh, is, is there every day. And he is several years younger than me. He's in his early 30s. And he shaves his head all the way down, like a zero guard, I'm guessing. And I don't believe he can grow any hair on top. Early, early, early 30s. Great looking beard. And he's very physically fit. By default, a good looking guy. So, as I was leaving the gym, after my hour long workout, I was leaving the gym. And I said, hey, I want to tell you a story. I, was, I, I thought of you today. So I proceeded to tell him about the story, about how someone said, some men just look better without hair. And I said, I've only known you without hair. I've known you for, I think it's like eight years I've been this guy. And he's always looked that way. So even in his 20s, he pretty much, I don't guess, had any hair on top. And he had the beard. That's, that's all I know him. I've not even seen him in a picture when he, when he had hair. I only know him one way. So I told him the story. I said, I thought of you because when my friend said some guys would just look better without hair and would look weird with it, I said, I thought of you. Because when I think of someone who really looks good with a shaved head and a beard, it's you. Now, I didn't specifically say, hey, you couldn't grow hair if you wanted to. I didn't, I just focused on the fact that yes, he shaves his head to a zero guard and he has a beard. That's all I focused on. I said, when I think of someone who can totally rock that look, it's you. And it made his day. The point of the story is when you see a guy with a shaved head and a beard, it doesn't even matter if you know him. Go up to him and tell him that. Say, look, you can really rock the shaved head and the beard look. I bet there's a lot of guys who wish they could get away with it. They can't, but you can. Now in reality, what I really believe is anybody can get away with it, but super insecure guys are going to find something to blame anyway. And they say, well, I have the wrong head shape or I have the wrong skin tone. They'll find a reason not to do it. And that's the whole point is that it's an act of bravery for a guy to, especially a younger guy to shave his head and grow the beard and do, and do that thing. So I told him that, and it just totally made his day. He's like, man, I'm, he's like, other than my wife, I'm not 
used to anybody telling me any kind of compliment about my looks. And then I reminded her too, I said, well, man, you're in your early thirties. Imagine you're not really going to age. You're always going to look this way, but you look good. And so, um, I felt it was very important to share that. Not to say, oh, look at me, I, I'm a great person. I'm saying it because you can be the great person. You can tell other people that. And maybe you can actually start believing that as truth because it is. That a man can actually look better without hair. And many do. Only thing is a lot of times we don't know it until they shave their hair off and we get used to seeing them that way. Your comments belong right here.